welcome back to my channel. Today I am going to repack my caboodle that I got. I have some stuff in it left over from when I did my Barbie looks. And then I need to pull out some skincare to take upstairs and I will catch you guys up kind of on my setup and then I'll show you my mess at the end if I remember. But if you want to see kind of what's in here currently and go through it with me, figured I would turn the camera on since I have to sit and do it anyway. Then just keep on watching. Make sure you're subscribed if you're not already. And let's jump okay. into it. So I ordered a caboodle from Ulta if you watched my last haul video. This is meant to go back and forth between upstairs and downstairs. We are currently in the basement. This is where my filming room is. We were able to turn one of our spare rooms downstairs into kind of a filming setup. Let me turn this a little bit so you can see a little bit more of the background. But yeah, I figured the caboodle holds more. I do have a really big travel makeup bag if you watched my last packing video, but this, I, I don't know. I like the idea of these. I was born in 84, so I was wearing makeup in the 90s, but the soft train cases, like what my one travel bag looks like and my other travel bag, like smaller versions of that, the caboodle had kind of phased out. I remember seeing them, but they weren't popular uh, at the time. So I do love the eighties. It's my favorite decade. So I thought I would order one of these. So I need to repack it. My husband moved all of my makeup downstairs. Now, one would think if, you know, if you're new that, oh, that, how much could that be? But it's a lot, bless his heart. He was able to do it in like, let me look at here. One, two, like five trips. It would have taken me like 20. I would have been, it would have been a two day process. He was able to do like five trips, brought it all down for me. I pulled, he, I didn't pull them out. He pulled out my other, my double. I discovered an extra single drawer system. I think my best friend Heather gave it to me because I've, it's been bothering me that I don't know where it came from. The one that I have had upstairs, my sister-in-law gave me a long time ago when we were living there. It was her craft cart. Um, my husband ordered the double drawer one when I was still in beauty school. I don't know where the second single unit came from. I'm going to use it. I think my friend Heather gave it to me. But anyway, let's get into the caboodle. And since all of my makeup and everything is down here, I need a serum. I think there's an eye serum that I got recently. And then like another eye cream to take upstairs because my main serums sit on my desk. So I need to send a couple up because I don't have a regular serum. The one serum is kind of a lotion-y consistency and it's got retinol in it. So I don't want to use that every single day because it will dry my skin out. So I'll see if I can tilt you a little bit. Let me move you so that the tripod doesn't come crashing to the ground. And then you can kind of see in the caboodle a little bit. My taller tripod doesn't tilt. So I'm using my tabletop one and then I have another canned margarita. My husband been got a couple of them because they are gluten free. So in the concealer section right up front, I'm going to take out this color corrector. I don't know. I've only used this a couple times. I don't know how I feel about this. Let me look at it on my hand. I might leave it in here. I've been leaving it in here hoping I can get some use out of it, but maybe I'll leave it. It seems to be a little creamier than my pixie one. I'll leave it in here and then if I need to change it out, I can. I have the Flower Beauty Serum Concealer and then my favorite is still the Item Beauty and then my ColourPop one for brightening. And then... I'll probably just leave those. My goal is to change this out every month-ish so that I can kind of rotate my stuff a little bit better. I do have the Batscara in here. Anytime I do my makeup, I wear falsies. So 
I just need something to help blend. And this one seems to work. Mine's not overly sticky and it's a little bit drier, which is nice because then it holds a curl. I've got lash glue, a brow pencil powder, my Benefit. I've got a hard candy bronzer in here. I'm gonna change out, I'm gonna leave these. I don't have a liquid liner in here. I'm gonna pull out gonna leave this bronzer in here and I'll probably add another one. I'm gonna leave this blush and I will probably pull out my other Flora Beauty one. All the lip stuff that's in here. I've got a cream. The cream highlighter I'll leave. And then I will leave this Jeffree Star in Rose Matter. And then probably I'll leave the Charlotte Tilbury lip. And then I'll just leave both of these. I've been liking both of these liners. This is the Gerard in Bel Air. It's just a kind of more mauve nude. And then the ColourPop Barbie in Dreamhouse. It's a little more of a pink. So, and then I've got my little, this is the Pillow Talk in Medium. So I'll leave those in and then I can add some tinted lip balm. Okay, so let's see. Let's I smash that. Okay. So I've got my lashes in here. These are gonna stay. I just have my three pairs I wear most often in here. And then my tools. And then I'm gonna pull out, I've got a serum that I think I'll change. Excuse me. Setting spray, some of this stuff is in here because I wanted to test it. And then some of this, when I was filming the Barbie, look like I just wanted to test it. And then some of it is for when I did the Barbie look. So not all of this stuff needs to be in here. Okay, so I pulled everything out of the big component. I'm going to put you on the tall tripod. I'll show you the mess and I'm gonna pull out some different. Before I do that, let me, I'm gonna leave the e.l.f a niacinamide sticky primer in here. I haven't used that yet. And then I'm going to leave my L'Oreal um, Perfecting Base and my Becca one in here, maybe. This is my favorite combo, but I'm thinking maybe I'll leave the e.l.f Halo because I haven't used this a whole lot and the e.l.f, the original Poreless. So maybe I'll leave those two and then I'll pull out some. Okay, so I tried to move some of my lights. You can see one of my soft boxes in the background, but you can see that box has lipstick, foundation, my brushes, my clear acrylic containers. I'm gonna have to dig in there to get primer and foundation out. But my drawer is here and it's full. You can see eyeshadow palettes, eyeshadow palettes. So those are empty. So over there, those are going to be filled, but I'm gonna to have to dig to get foundations. I think I'm gonna leave what I have in there as far as foundations and then the primers, I did pick out three. So I'm not gonna to have to dig in that box behind me yet. I'm gonna leave my Fenty foundation. This is my favorite as if I'm going to wear a foundation. It's very hot. So I'm thinking maybe I don't need this one out. I had it for the video. The one that I like for summer, because we are in the middle of summer, this is the hottest month here in August, um, is my mineral powder from Mary Kay. But that I would have to dig in here for because I took my primers and my foundations out of these acrylic drawers and threw them in this box. So I think I'm just going to leave that for now. I'm going to put this in the top. So if I do need it, because there's a lot of lip products in there. So I'm going to, what did I do with them? I'm going to zoom my mind. You're probably like, they're behind you. I just lost my 
tinted stuff. My moisturizers. Where did I put them? I just had them. Let me figure out where I put them because I just set them down. And then we they were under the wreath. That wreath is from the Nightmare Before Christmas back there. Right there. It's eventually going to go kind of where the blank space is next to me on the wall. But that's a brick wall. So we have to drill. I do have a new one of these. It's funny, I ordered the shade medium from Purely's thinking I could mix it with one of my tinted moisturizers that's too light. And I didn't realize I had medium before. This is my old one. This is several years old. It didn't smell when I used it last time, but I'm a little bit more tan. I don't know if you can tell, but this is actually the right shade so I don't have to mix it. Whenever I dig out, the new one, I'm gonna throw this one away and replace it. But right now, I don't need to mix it. It's the right color. And so this is the Purely's Perfect Glow BB with SPF 30. I used to really like this. You can see how much I used. I'm down to here, but did buy a new one in my correct shade. Eventually when this fades, I will need to mix it. But for right now, I'm gonna just put both of those. Normally I would pull out my mineral powder foundation, but again, that is buried under, I can show you the box. So you can see all the lips and my brushes and stuff. There's primer and foundation under there. I am going to pull out, if I can get to it, I forgot to pull out my blush, my actual blush brush. So I'm gonna maybe one other contour brush. And there's MAC lipsticks going down in my brush holder, but I forgot to pull out my powder brush when I was getting brushes out. So the rest of the stuff that I need, I can lower, maybe. Is in this drawer system. My husband moved this whole thing full, so we need to give him some sort of a, a prize. And then these are loose eyeshadow palettes. And then my cart. I'm going to do a makeup inventory video where I tell you all of the numbers of everything that I have in preparation for a declutter. So we're going to go into this top drawer because this is where my skincare is these other primers I'm gonna throw just these are gonna go on top and then that actual foundation is there if I need it and then these are just in the pile of products okay I have this serum my other serums again are gonna be in that box so I'm just gonna leave the studio hyaluronic acid in here for me to use. And then I had the Keys Protect Your Light Daily Moisturizer. This is good, it doesn't pill up. It does smell very sunscreeny. So for eye cream, I'm gonna leave my little baby clinic one and then put this Dr. Brandt one in so that I have two eye creams. And then I'm gonna put my Avant Moisturizer in. And then my favorite sunscreen to wear under makeup is this Alta MD. It makes your skin like glowy. It looks like the Elf Halo Glow, but it's SPF 44. So I'm gonna put this one in this time, one of my powder puffs, because that was the other thing I forgot. I might put this hard candy. It's a vitamin B caffeine green tea thingy also. So I'll put that moisturizer and then I usually put two. So I have a little bit of this gel cream left. Normally I would probably put my Bobbi Brown on and I also have a little mini of the magic cream from Charlotte Tilbury, but this is almost used up and I do have another one of these. So let me throw that in to finish it. So we'll put that in and then we'll get into powder. I'm going to put in my Makeup Revolution. This just makes your skin glowy. My CoverGirl Pressed Powder. Um, for loose, I might put in my Elf Halo Glow. I got this a long time ago before this got really popular. Let's see. The kids are playing upstairs if you can hear them. 
I don't, I haven't really been reaching for any of this other, so I think I'm good with those three. I mainly just use the pressed and then a little bit of this, but once in a while, like that's nice too. So we'll put those in and then oh, let's see. I've got, I can turn you so you can kind of see what I'm, um, the kids are playing if you can hear them. Um, I have more lip stuff in here. I put these in. This is a tinted lip balm from Item Beauty and I did not realize that this does not want to roll up like I'm turning it. That's, it doesn't do anything that way either, but the component is, it's like a tinted lip balm, but that's not doing anything. And then I have this Too Faced lipstick. I'm going to see if I can find some tinted lip balms here on the top. You can see some lip oil. this makeup revolution one and then I got two lip oils from ColourPop so I'm just these are on top I could not find anything else so let's see in here leave the Milani bronzer out. This is all glitter. I have rhinestones, so I'm going to turn you back again. Okay, so we're going to go, the glitter is in this drawer. I pulled some of this stuff out when I was doing the Barbie books, and I did not end up Using any of that? That's probably not in there correctly. That's all right. I am going to pull out the Milani eyeshadow primer. I haven't used this yet and I want to try it. So I'm going to put my Gerard, my glitter glue, and the Milani primer in there since I'm in this drawer. And then I have my rhinestones that are just going to sit on top. This is all single shadows. I'm gonna pull out my new one in Mighty Morphin that I got at Ulta. And then for eye pencils, I'm gonna take out this olive one. I'm trying to think of like universal. This NYX purpley one, a champagne-y color. If I can find a white one here, I'll pull that out too. So that and a black for like for my waterline. Okay. These here. My brow stuff that's out is good. Let me go down to where my bronzers are. I kept one kind of shimmery and then I'm going to keep this Rimmel one that's a little more matte. So I have those two. And then for cream, I have a cream drawer now. I'm going to take... Oh. I'm going to take out my ABH one in amber just because I only used this once. And that actually was a really good color. I saw some people that did not get good colors, so. And then I haven't used my e.l.f. honey bronzer either, so I'm gonna take that. 
And then for blush, I like this Milk Makeup in Work. And then I'm gonna take out this other uh, blush balm. And then I also have the one from Hard Candy. Doesn't take up much room in there. And I might take out the Hard Candy blush too, because again, this one doesn't take up much room in this little thing. So there's some cream blush options in there. And then how often I, I rotate is really gonna depend on how often I'm doing like pinky gold shift. I think I'm just gonna pull out my little Ciate London ones. These are, I have Date Night Matchmaker and these are glowy and they're small. And then I might just pull out this little Essence one that I bought in Beloved. Again, these are small to layer on top of the cream. Yeah, I ended up having to get rid of the eyeshadow. I didn't get rid of it, but I pulled it out of the drawer because I had so much in all of my drawers that I needed to go back to having one of just my cream products. <sighs> okay, and then these eyeshadow palettes, and this is a liner palette. This I'm gonna leave on my desk over here for now. I might use that in the video. I have a face palette. I really, really like this Milani in Dolce Perla. So I'm gonna put that in there. And then maybe this Maybelline. This is 100 Molten Gold. This one's really like shiny. I might, like my ColourPop in gold celebration. I might put this one in just because this is little and I haven't used that that much. I also have this soap one that I haven't used in a hot minute and this is sugar frosting. It's got two. Maybe I'll put this in. I not use that in a hot minute either. So we'll put this in because again it gives me two. I'll put these little blushes. I think that's everything for the caboodle. So let me come back around and we'll just go through the skincare. Okay, so I have you not on the tabletop. Hopefully you can hear me okay. I'm gonna leave out my color switch. I did pull out one more setting spray. This was just the e.l.f. This one's a good dupe for the Urban Decay All Nighter and you can see I have used it. And then I have my Pixie one, which needs to be used and then this glowy one from Wander Beauty. Okay, so everything in here I think is good. I don't think that's gonna close like that. Let's see. And I do have a liquid liner. Well, my twos should fit in here. This, I can probably put in this basket. Okay. And put my eyelash curler in there. I'm gonna put my little brow tweezers up in this top part. Okay, so everything fits. And then that way, 
I can take this upstairs because I still have a mirror on my desk and my desk is still up there. I have a separate table down here that I've had anyway. And then my travel mirror is down here. So I'm not moving mirrors back and forth. The kids are playing. My husband is up there. <laughs> They're not up there by themselves. So, okay, the caboodle is packed. You can see the pile next to me here. Okay, this is also, will be transported. There's some eye brushes, my face brushes, a puff, color switch. So that and the caboodle can be used on this desk if I'm filming or can be taken upstairs. I found a couple of extra baskets because like I said, I had to take out, I think it was the third drawer from the bottom it had eyeshadow palettes in it. Those are no longer in that drawer because I had enough stuff combined that I needed a drawer for my cream like bronzer blush highlighter years ago I had a drawer for that and then I quit using cream products well now I've gotten it back into using cream product not really back into it. I've gotten into using cream products back's not the right word because I wasn't really into it in the first place but this is all of my overflow powder liners, brows, eyeshadow, you know, single shadows, you know, you name it, it's in here. Some of these powders are going to go all, let me back up. The bottom two drawers still have eyeshadow palettes in it. Those are going to come out because I have, you saw the other drawer units. So I'm going to go, go back to having powder in a drawer. Years ago, again, I had powder in a drawer by itself and then foundations and primers were in a drawer. I'll figure out something else to use my acrylic drawers for because currently I have foundation and primer in those but I will have enough drawers that like my skincare and stuff can be in a drawer maybe skincare and primers and then foundations we'll see but I have two extra drawers so I'm going to be moving things around so if you want to see that process okay Put that right there so this is overflow skincare i do have like my masks a couple of toners a couple of face washes in the cabinet above our toilet in the bathroom but this is all like this hydrating eye serum i think i'm gonna take this upstairs i probably should have left out my um well that's a cute bottle Oh, that's a nice like gel consistency. I like Elemis. Oh, that's nice. I should probably just, my, I don't have any makeup on. Try it under my eye. My eyes are really dry from foaming those makeup looks back to back. And then I was using like expired wipes. I have a whole case of them because we had Emma and Amelia back to back, like a whole box the big box from Walmart expired. So I don't use them on the babies, but they're fine for wiping off like swatches and stuff, cleaning off my table. Cause how many packs? There's 12 and I'm not about throwing stuff away if I can make it work in some other capacity. So needless to say, they were a little rough on my face. I think wipes would be anyway. So I'm gonna take going off on a tangent here. I'm gonna take the eye serum up and then I need some other kind of serum in my bathroom. I have choices here. What is this? Advanced with vitamin E hyaluronic acid. This is from Clara's. What does this look like? I'm gonna say that that leaked because it's not full. So I'm gonna toss that. Here's another, this is a resurfacing. I don't necessarily, I found another eye cream. Cause I need an eye cream upstairs. So I'm gonna, let's see, what is this? This is AC, Fig, MAA, Ute, and Oil. I'm 
This is a plumping hydration serum from Hyper Cloud Jelly. What does this look like? Okay. Nourishing antioxidants. Let's see, three to four drops before moisturizer. Use morning and evening. What does this smell like? If this is an oil, some of the stuff I've had for a while, so I can't. I can't tell if it's expired. <laughs> if I can't tell, and it is an oil, so it's going to smell doesn't necessarily smell expired. It's got kind of a herbally with like flower smell, so it's kind of weird smelling, but it doesn't necessarily smell expired. It is an oil, so I'll take that upstairs. I'll be able to tell when I put it on my face if it's turned or not. It sounds really bad. And then this ve vegan collagen plumping, and this one might be good for a night in the bathroom. See, uh, I've had this, I had this stuff in the bathroom and then decided to move it into a container. So that's why I can't tell in my bathroom when I had them on the shelf, the older stuff was towards the front and the newer stuff was in the back. I would like, like you rotate cans. I would rotate my serums. But when I put everything in this container, it got screwed up. So I can't tell. And there's enough in this box that I'm not sure how long some stuff has been in here because I probably seem slightly insane. So this I think will go uh, plumping, hydrating serum. And then the other one's an oil and you can use an oil and a serum together. They do different things. That smells fine. Okay, so at least if the oil's not good, I still have this. So we'll take those up and then I'm gonna look at this eye cream. I have another eye cream in here. Probably. That's another, what is this? Clay cleanser. I tried to keep stuff. Moisturizer. I tried to group stuff. What are you? That's a skin balm. There's another one of those moisture surge from Clinique. One of those lasts me a long time because I don't have to. I have a small face. I don't have to use a whole heap. It's cleanser. And I got eye cream. Probably the one thing that I don't have an abundance of. That's an acne solution. I'm not seeing any other eye creams. So, and really all an eye cream is is a thick moisturizer. So I'm gonna open, I do have one. It's a little bit thicker, but I like using it in conjunction with the white one that I put in my caboodle that I moved down here. And I do have a couple of eye creams in my drawer. So I could take one out of there. I'll just, if this is gonna help brighten, this might be one to use at night. So I will take this upstairs. Okay, so I found a couple of things to take upstairs, packed the caboodle, and showed you my mess. I am going to film some of the process of me cleaning. It would be a two hour video if I shot like the whole thing, but I'm gonna film snippets uh, here and there just because the amount of stuff is staggering. And then I'm gonna go through and do an inventory and count every category, everything I have. And then we're gonna do start a declutter series, so. That is my goal. I'm not looking to do a huge declutter, but if there's anything that I'm absolutely not gonna use, I'd rather pass it on so that somebody else can use it. If I think that I might use it, or if it's something I wanna try, I'll hold on to it. But I 
do like passing stuff on if I'm absolutely not going to use it. Eyeshadows are the hardest because they keep longer and I do experiment and do different looks occasionally, but the rest of my makeup I have a little bit easier time letting go of for the most part. The blush drawer is hard, but beyond that. So yeah, thank you guys so much for hanging out with me. I needed to get this done anyway. I appreciate you being here. Have a wonderful rest of your day. Again, make sure you are subscribed if you're not already. And hopefully I will see you in another video very, very soon. Bye everybody.